Yo, this is a response video to Serenade's song, and yeah, I just figured I'd do this. I saw the comment, and um, I, I think I liked and hearted it. If I haven't, I'm going to do it, but uh, I've done that with comments that absolutely go against me, so let me go ahead. It's 21 seconds in. Let me go ahead and bloop. There we go. So, I am going to do this because uh, I just figured, why not? You know, this person kind of left the response and some thought provoking, some I wanted to converse, well, sort of converse, just give my explanation on certain things. And uh, I guess that's about it, really. I can't think of much else because a lot of it's going to probably be, I, I agree. And you'll get to see that, you know, if I can or I cannot read. And most likely you've already got your preconceived notions. I fear you might be right. So, let's get on with this. Let me go ahead and click this right here. Get up on the screen. All right. So, Saturday Night's on road. Comparative reasoning. It's easy. This is response to my Bernie Sanders. It's not the beginning um, or something like that. It's oh, I can't remember. Damn it, because I'm too focused on what's on the screen right in front of me right here. So, all right. And I was trying to get different pictures up there and stuff. I was like, ooh, these clouds are pretty. You know, so I wanted those up there. I'm annoyed with the black border, but eh, okay. So. Uh, basically about changing society, getting different things, changing people's minds, and uh, making sure that we get the power and stuff like that. Saturday song basically pretty much agrees with me on a lot of things, and I agree with with uh, all intents and purposes from what I saw on the Avatar. Her, and I will stick with her until that person corrects me. Uh, so she says it's easy. Everyone come together and take all of your money out of the bank and cancel all of your credit cards. Yeah, that would shock the banking system. Only the banking system. Because the bank will still get their money for the homes. They just can't exploit said money. That's the thing. So, yeah, you know, cool, right? Um, and I think everyone should do that. There's just a problem. Fear. That's what governs us. That's, that's what governs every human society. Fear. Egyptians used it, you know, used the gods to strike unmitigated fear into everyone until they got so sick of it, they created the side piece religion that became Christianity and and uh, uh, was uh, Islam, I think. I, I just know that you got the Bible and the Quran, and they're just rivals. It will always be rivals because reasons. Okay. And so that alone would probably stop the system cold, not to mention massive work strikes, stopping payment of taxes, stopping mortgage payments, etc., etc. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, massive work strikes. Look, I agree with this. This is awesome, and it would be great. Problem, this is what sucks because people are afraid, people are pigeonholed, people are trapped. You know, literally it's, you can stand at the wall or you can lean forward and put your throat on, on the tip of my sword, make a choice. That's where we are in society. You've got people who are destroyed and beaten down by capitalism. And these are the same people that hate capitalism, but love taking advantage of it. Basically, and it's scary to think about it, but the majority of people are a Michael Bloomberg waiting to happen because they are so beat down, they want to be in charge for once. They're so beat down, they was like, let me make you see how it feel for once. Or I just want to get away from all of you crazy people. That's what's happening. Capitalism, abusive capitalism, racism, systemic racism and capitalism and abusive capitalism and all this other stuff has definitely destroyed anything decent of society. So everyone fights within the system to retain the system, but they want better, but without changing the system. You see how that's a problem? That's because I agree with you. I just know how people are. And like I said, in the year 2100 or 2200 or 3500, it'll finally change. You can say, man, they finally did it. That's it. They, it took a long time. It took 16 to 300 generations, but they finally figured it out. That's what sucks. Ugh, because Saturday song, you ain't said nothing wrong. It's just, you and I agree and nobody else does. And if they do, they're too afraid to try to do anything. 
And it's not hard to come up with a new system. It's hard enacting that new system. You know, I've got about three or four different systems in my head, but because people are so Stockholm Syndrome on capitalism, they'll be like, that's crazy. And you're a radical, man. So that that's how that happens. Uh, da, 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 da. People have a lot more power than they think. Yes. And it's there without the need for any violence. Yet, they throw that power away daily. Who actually runs the economy? We do. We go out and work every day. We pay in. We make it happen. If we stop, they stop too. Yeah. Like I said, it's going to be a bunch of agreement. But yeah. <laughs> you know, everyone stop, man. I got the microphone in the wrong spot. I hope y'all could have heard me. Uh, but yeah, if, if we stop, they stop. If we take all of our money out those banks, those banks collapse. They're done. Now, granted, if we do that, that's great. But those are the for-profit banks. And I mean those serious for-profit banks where they screw you over, where if you run into, if your, your savings is low, your checking is low, you know, you buy something and your savings has to cover it, they will cover that for you, but because of that, they have to charge you. And since you don't have it in your checking, they will uh, push that into your savings. And so now they have to use your savings to cover it. And since your savings couldn't fully cover it, they will charge your savings as well. So you get a hit of $32 for the checking. There will be a $6 processing fee. And then there will definitely be another $32 plus for the savings. And because they had to cover both, because they had to cover both, they're going to charge you $12 on each. You can end up paying $96 to $110 because of that. That's why banks really want the money of people who don't have much money. Because juggling bills means you're going to drop something as you're trying to juggle it. No one's perfect, so something's going to get dropped, and they can't wait for that. And then they're going to charge you, uh, it used to be $2 per ATM. Every time you use an ATM, it's $2. Now it's like, if you come in, we won't charge you. Then they change it to, if you come in, if you do it uh, twice a month, after the second time, we'll charge you $2. For profit means they're going to try to get you at every step of the way. I think you know that. I know that. That's why State Employment Credit Union, that's why I go there. But also, as a side piece, linked to the SECU, I also have the Aspiration account, which I did not go through uh, TYT. I went straight to Aspiration. I didn't want to use TYT because TYT became a business and I didn't want to use them. I don't have a vanity link like that. So mine is just, I mean, I got a vanity link, but it ain't, I can't get anything out of it. So mine is tinyurl.com slash crbanking. It's right there on the screen, you know? So putting your money in an Aspiration account you know, they actually tell you how to use your money for fossil free investments and things like that. Well, fossil fuel free. <laughs> fossil free. It's like, yeah, man, don't use dinosaur bones and any other ancient bones, you know. No, 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 no. You know, it's basically keep your money away from old money and bank in places that are treating their employees well. Treating, uh, uh, it'll help you find the places that are more honorable or just plain damn honorable in general. So that's a good thing. They teach you how to invest your money, you know, and it's usually like $100 here and there. I ain't got $100, so I ain't invested jack, and I wish I had $100 freely so I could say, hey, this is what happened, and this is what's coming of it, and this is how it's happening. But no, that's, you know, I've got my Medium account linked to my Aspiration account. So when Medium pays me, it goes directly to my Aspiration account. And then my Aspiration account, I use that to pay Medium so I can stay a Medium member. And I haven't been doing anything on Medium, so I got no money, therefore... That's how that ended. And and I still and you know what? Aspiration did not take anything from me. When I ran out of money, and oh yeah, and I was giving Aspiration five dollars a month anyway, because it says, pay us what you think. They don't charge you. They just say, pay us what you think you want to give us. So give them five dollars. That was me. That's just what I do. I'm like, you're great. I like you. You got some sense. You're not gonna rob me. Here's five dollars. That was me saying thank you for even being here. And if I was able to make that kind of money, it'd be $10. That's just me. I am the fool that we parted with his money. Um, 
And so, yeah, please check out Aspiration. Check, you, you know, go to the link down there. It's in, it's somewhere in the description down there, or just type it in tiny triple uh, w dot tinyurl dot com slash cr banking. You know, that was just a side note. I just wanted to get that out there. Um, you know, all right. So, I mean, you know, if tyt or some big way say it, you go to it. So, give me a try. I'm just asking for some fairness, some equality. Um, and you know, yeah. And you know, and what she would say, you know, yeah, who runs the economy? We do, because if we don't buy it, they can't sell it. And if they can't sell it, it just sits on their shelf. That's the whole point. And that's why that's awesome. But we forget that we got that buying power. And then those that remember are surrounded by those that either forget or de or don't want that power. You know, it used to be, and maybe maybe you can understand this Saturday night song. It used to be supply and demand. You know, you only supply what others demand. Now they supply and they demand that you buy their supply. They flipped it, they switched it, and that's the problem. And then they uh, monopolize so many things and and duopoly so many things that now you have to you have the choice of A or B, not A B C D E F G. That's the problem. It is not A to Z or A to Z. It's just A and B. Pretty much like politics, right? You don't have too many choices of any other parties because everyone has run them into the ground. They demonize them so much that they can't get a foothold despite them being in uh, parts of the Senate and other parts of politic, uh, political offices around the country. You know, so that's what needs to happen. People need to wake up, you know, and I'm glad you wrote that because that's true. You know, we got the power. We hold it. If, and, and like I said, if we don't buy it, they can't sell it. They can't money. They fold. If they can't make money. They fold. That's the truth of it. It says, I am saying people would come together in the massive amount needed to do this. No. <laughs> well, would people come together? No, they wouldn't. You know they wouldn't. I know they wouldn't. They know they wouldn't, and they know they should. No, I can't know for certain that they would, but they should. And it's a way to stop the system without needing to riot or be violent, which you're right. The elites may easily crush. Yeah. The, the, I did. I just did a video talking about how the elites are have used racism against minorities, mainly black people, for so long, and those dog whistles and whatnot. Now they're using it against Bernie, and now they're using it against Bernie Bros. It went from the black community to the whole community, and that's what the problem is. That's their death rattle. You're hearing them scream. They're like, "Oh my goodness, what do I do? What do I do? And how do I do it? I don't know. Just spam the hatred. Just, just make sure Bernie looks bad." And if people wake up and actually look at that, they'll actually be able to be like, wait a minute. That's not right. The guy that wants us to have medicine, the guy that wants us to be able to go and get treated and not cost us everything, why are you trying to stop this guy trying to help the people? No one's thinking about that. You know? Well, anyone that's right-wing or independent or... Uh, you know, the older generation, the baby boomers and those that are slightly younger, you know, that they're, they're not thinking that they, they're leading with hate. You know, Trump hate the foreigners. He hate the Middle East. He hate the minorities. So we vote for him. And it's like, well, OK, if you're a Democrat, we, you know what? Like Whoopi Goldberg, she was right there. She is the spitting damn example. You know, basically, you dislike the millennials. We're fine. That's all it is. We don't want the millennials to have what we didn't have the chance to have. And that's all that is. Jealousy. I did a video on that a little bit. I didn't call it, call it the jealousy part, but just did. <laughs> Better late than never. Okay, so. Uh, okay, she says, I think this would be worth a shot. And it's doable. <laughs> doable. <laughs> we have more power than we know. Don't throw it away. They want you to feel helpless. You're not. And that's true. We're not helpless. We just have to know we can do it. You need to get people on your side. You need to sp sp speak truth to power. And that power is the people. They have it. And they're afraid to have it. And when they try to find power the most negative ways because the negative ways are the only ways that they know how now. They can't do it the fair way. People tried for so long to do it the right way. It's never worked. I think you got to lie, cheat, and steal to get what you want. 
You got to hurt your own people. And when I say your own people, I ain't talking about white, black, Latina, Latino, you know, Puerto Rican or anything like that. I'm talking about you got to hurt everyone around you just to make sure you are going to be just well off enough. Just not in the poverty area. And I'm probably going to do a video on that because it, I hope that I can make it long, but I, I don't have that much material in my head about it. Just observations I've made, and it it saddened me a lot. But Serenade song, I I like what you had to say, and I can't disagree with any of it. <laughs> and yeah, the people, hey, look, listen out there, straight up, right before I leave, there are people that are going to say stuff. All right. Say, I'm for this. This is what I'm for. I want people to be better. I want people to be able to take care of themselves. They shouldn't have to pay for school. They shouldn't. We should. We, we shouldn't have to pay for medicine. We really shouldn't. You know, a lot of people that made medicine, they didn't even patent it because they didn't want it to be part of some capitalist system. But then others took it and patented it so they could make money off of it. Penicillin was supposed to be free. You know, stuff like that. We don't have it because people just see money and they just want the money. They don't think about the need of the people. They think about the want of the money. Because money is power. In this country, the two things that hold the most power, lies and money. If you can lie to the people and get them on your side and you got the money to back it up, damn if it's true or not, You've got it. Trump exploited it and he said it. You need to listen to the people around you and stop just saying, yeah, right. Well, I think this. Stop that. Listen to them. Stop waiting to counter. Stop trying to get out of it. Stop trying to support your beliefs in the face of, of either facts or their own beliefs. Just think. Take a step back. Pause and think. Is it possible? Is it rational? Not is it possible if, no. Remove the fear, the what do my neighbors think, and just think about a decent society. Is what that person's saying possible in a decent society? And then you say it's not a decent society, so you can't work it. You know what you do? You make your area decent. It always starts with you. It will end with someone else. It will end somewhere else. But it all starts with you. That's the truth. Saturday Night Song, I thank you for the comment. And I will get, make sure I upvote it and heart it and whatnot. And I hope that you come back and comment again if need be on anything. Maybe even this one. Uh, so this has been Cedric Kennedy for Comparative Reasoning for this response video of Saturday Night Song's comment. Thank you for listening.